on a warm Saturday afternoon in Medellin, Colombia. As we now get set for the mixed team gold medal match. Two longtime rivals, Korea and China. China qualifying sixth this past week. And coming into this on a roll, China beating Great Britain five to one, then knocking off the United States five to three in the quarterfinals and beating Chinese Taipei by the same score, five to three in the semifinals. So China enjoying a good week's work here in South America. Down near the equator. So let's meet the duo from China. Going for the gold. And it will be Wu Jiajin and Jing Yu. Jing Yu already picking up a medal this morning as his team defeated Colombia in the mixed, or excuse me, the men's team bronze medal match. So Jing Yu going for his second medal of the day. But they'll have a challenge from the team seated number one, Korea. Korea beating Brazil 6-2, knocking off Spain 6-2 in the quarterfinals, and then defeating Japan in the semifinals 5-3. And it's a powerhouse lineup for Korea. Of course, it usually is. And you'll get to meet the two archers from Korea right now. On your left, Im dong Yun, And on your right, Lee tuk Young. Lee tuk Young, 25 years of age, ranked 72nd in the world. Of course, a dominating archer back uh, Around 2005, 2006, 2007, Im Dong Yun has been one of the top archers in the world for a long, long time. Although we haven't seen much of him in the past, oh, couple of years, I would say, Taylor. It's been very interesting to see him not on the the main stage, uh, especially in the Korean men's team. So it's great to see him back here, and he's he hasn't lost any of his abilities. He's ranked first here uh, in the ranking round, and he's made it all the way through to the mixed team gold medal. Uh, I think he's in the individual gold medal this afternoon as well, so he's definitely a force to, to still be reckoned with. So it will be a three medal day for Im Dong Yun, who scored 699 points in the ranking round in London in 2012, breaking a world record he'd set earlier in 2012. Wound up finishing ninth in London, but took home a team bronze medal from the 2012 Olympics. Already has a gold medal here today, but starts off surprisingly in the eight ring. Conditions may be a little bit different than what he faced this morning. Lee Tuk Young, who had to settle for a silver in the women's gold medal match, also opens with an eight. Maybe she was looking at uh, Im's arrow and made her adjustment from there, but the, maybe the wind had changed by the time she uh, ended up taking a shot. It's another eight. Wu Jiajin, 18 years old and 32nd in the world, paired up with Jing Yu. Jing Yu breaks the ice, strikes gold. And the People's Republic of China forges ahead. Right on the line, he caught it. And that will count as nine. Plenty of time. In the, in the bottom right corner of the screen, the wind keeps changing quite dramatically from almost nothing to, to f up to four, four and a half meters a second in many different directions. <laughs> but they made an amazing uh, correction there to make the last shot a 10. So after two eights, it's a nine and a 10 for Korea as they attempt to come back. China with a chance to take this set. That won't help though. No, that won't help at all. In fact, the best they can hope for right now is a split. And now we'll take a terrific shot from Jing Yu. 
just like his first one. Hopefully you can make it exactly the same. Not quite enough, and so Korea does come back after two weaker shots to open up the match. The answer with a nine and a 10, and take the opening set and take the lead, two to nothing. That's the interesting thing about watching Korea. Even when they're behind, you never feel like they're out of it. No, not at all. Uh, I had my individual match in the, the round of 1-8 one one uh, earlier in the week, uh, versing one of the, the new young Korean shooters. Um, even when I had a slight advantage at the start of the match, he came back extremely strong. So you can never discount them, even when they're down. They came back strong as you take a look at Lee Tuk Young on the left, Im Dong Yun on the right. Mr. Im, an amazing story, has won team gold medals at the Summer Games in Beijing and in Athens, team bronze medal in London in 2012. He's a world champion from 2007 in Leipzig and a silver medalist at the World Championships in Korea in 2009. All in all, five team World Championship medals in his career. And with that 10, he secured the two points that Korea has to take the lead in this match. Two to nothing. So China trailing, shooting first on target number two. Sun now starting to shift into the western skies, more in the face of the archers. That'll become, I would imagine, a bigger factor as the day goes on. Yeah, as the sun tends to move, it does change how you see the target, how you see the string and the back of your riser. So it does change what's called your string picture, and it can affect uh, how you see what you're about to shoot, and it'll change for you from left to right without you noticing. So it's uh, you got to keep on top of all those different little factors. Jing Yu saw it just fine, put up a 10. Meanwhile, Korea counters with a 9 from Im Dong Yun. Good look at the bow hand for Lee Tuk Yung. Quick release. That's a 9, just hidden behind Mr. Im's arrow. Obviously hitting the other target. China and Korea tied at 18. Wu <laughs> Jiajin, who averages nine per arrow, comes up with a nine. And now Jing Yu who so far this year has a mixed team silver and a team gold medal in Shanghai. Trying to add to that in a very respectable showing here in the second set. Will it be enough though to hold off Korea? Korea with another opportunity. Another nine there by Korea. They definitely need a 10 here if they want to win this set. Otherwise, they do split it. It's a nine, they'll split. If it's a 10, they'll take the two points and go up four nothing in the match. A little bit shaky. But it's a nine and that's enough to tie, split the set points. And Korea maintains a two point advantage. My imagination or did she seem to uh, get a little bit shaky there on that shot? Uh, perhaps, but uh, as, she, as we, we saw in her follow through, she threw her arm uh, towards the right, so she wanted to will that arrow closer to the goal, but it just hit uh, on the left-hand side with, with the other three. So great grouping by both of those archers to get all four shots uh, in the same spot, but she gave everything into that to try and will it into the goal. We call it steering, so <laughs> trying to steer it like it's stolen, just sure. put it straight in the middle. A little body English, it always works, right? Yeah, put a little oomph and, and a bit it of can't hurt. It. No, not at all. You know, the last World Cup medals for uh, Im Dong Yun came two years ago in Shanghai and Antalya and Poland had a great year in 2013, ended the season with a fourth place finish in Belek. Haven't seen much of him over the last two years, but then you look at his partner, Lee Tuk Yun, 
She went seven years between World Cup appearances. She finally came back on the scene last year in 2014, right here in Medellin, where she won two team medals, the mixed team gold and the team bronze. Before that, she hadn't really competed internationally since 2007. It's amazing how they can keep going and sustain themselves. Of course, they're getting a lot of help. Oh, definitely. They got to sustain them and keep them going. Got huge support back in, their, back in their home country and a lot of help pushing them further, pushing them harder to make them better every time. And after seven years, she comes back on the scene as still one of the top archers in the world. Disappointing shot for Wu Jin. He was hoping for more. And it would behoove Jing Yu to shoot a 10 right now. That's brilliant right there. That's a great recovery. Exactly what you'd expect from a team partner when uh, the first shot's not as comfortable as you'd like it to be, where you can trust in your partner to put it in the 10 where you need to. Jing Yu picks up his partner. <laughs> Meanwhile, Im Dong Yun stabs that ten ring. And a very focused Lee Tok Yun. <laughs> Putting her country in front by two. Midway through what could be the final set. Just need to maintain that two point lead in these next two shots, and they'll have uh, another gold medal to add to their collection. Much better effort for Wu Jin, who finished 17th at the World Championships in Copenhagen. Also has won a team bronze medal in Antalya this summer. Trying to pick up the gold medal here. So after the seven, China shot a very respectable 10-9-9. However, Korea once again, in position, poised to take this match. That's, That's the first there. step towards that gold medal. This could be the final step. Nice. It's in the hands of Lee Tuk Young. Nice, easy, safe shot here. It's all they need. Nothing special. Got it. But it's a 10 anyway. More With emphasis. Enough. Lee Tuk Young putting the exclamation point on another gold medal victory for Korea. Korea started the season in Shanghai, beating Japan in the uh, mixed team gold medal match. Then Korea knocked off China in Antalya on Konialti Beach. In Poland, it was Mexico over India, and here in Medellin, it is once again Korea for the third out of four stages winning the mixed team gold medal. So there you see the scores. Korea jumping out to that two nothing lead. They split the second set. Korea took the third set and wins it.